Hey everyone, welcome back to another Grade Gain Required Practical. Remember, Grade Gain is where every student can make progress. This is possibly the simplest um, required practical that you'll come across. Remember, the instructions are downloadable from my web shop, URL appearing right here. What we need for this one is a Leslie Cube. Now, a Leslie Cube is a metal container with different coloured faces. So we've got a shiny black face, we've got a white face, we've got a matte black face, and we've got a copper, shiny copper face. You also need an infrared thermometer. Now you could use a data logger, an infrared probe, but they're quite expensive. So we managed to get this from a certain well-known online retailer for about 15 pounds. It's an infrared thermometer that has a laser so that you can see where you're pointing it and a display on the back. So here's our Leslie cube. We can see we've got a white face, we've got a matte black face, we've got a shiny coppery coloured face and we've got a shiny black face. If we have a little look at our infrared thermometer we can see that the infrared beam spreads out from the thermometer. We've got a trigger here that turns it on and in the face here we've got a laser that allows us to point it in the right direction and the infrared sensor. And on the back we have a screen we can change between degrees C and degrees F. We've got a backlight button and a laser button so if I turn this on we can see there's the laser there and we can read the temperature of the table as 24 degrees C. If I put my hand in the way we can see that my hand is registering 33.4 degrees, 0.5, so therefore I'm much hotter than the table. That's reassuring. So I've filled the Leslie cube with some hot water, and put a thermometer in the top, and we can see that that is reading 53 degrees. I've now put my infrared thermometer in a clamp stand and it is at a set distance away from the Leslie cube. So that is one of our control variables. If we now have a look and see what temperatures we're reading. So we can see we're reading 52.7 at the moment from the white side. If we go to the matte black. point eight <clears throat> the shiny metallic side 28 degrees and the shiny black side 52.3 so we can see that our best emitter is our matte black currently running at 52.6 or 52.7. So there we have it. Matte black was the best emitter of infrared radiation. Now the instructions ask us to draw a bar chart. The reason that we draw a bar chart is because our independent variable, the faces of the Leslie cube, are discrete values. They can only take one colour. You can't kind of get matty shiny black. You've got matte black and you've got shiny black. So there you have it, told you it was the simplest one of the experiments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Great Game, and if you want to, click on this link to see all the playlists of all the other required practicals for GCSE Physics. Good luck with your GCSEs.